Hi, my name is Freedom Waffle, and today I am joined by the Cookout 2023 champion, Anthony Rivera. Anthony, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? My name is uh, Anthony Rivera. Uh, I'm also known as Tony. Sweet. Um, yeah, to start us off, you want to tell us a little bit about your history with Magic the Gathering? Uh, yeah, uh, I started playing Magic between 2010 and 2013, mainly just for fun, like playing with my dad. Uh, and I was too young to really be able to like get into, uh, I guess, going out and playing at stores and stuff. Uh, but as as I got older, uh, over like within this last year, uh, I started going to my local game store and just started out playing drafts, uh, going to their Friday Night Magic. Uh, and then them, uh, the people I met there, uh, had started playing commander and they were trying to get me to also join them. Uh, so I had just built a deck. It was kind of crap. I just threw a bunch of cards together. They were like a uh, hundred cards. So I was like, all right, one of each. All right. I'm just going to throw in this one, one death touch. You know, I was like, that's cool. It's got death touch. It's good. <laughs> uh, as the store slowly grew, uh, it, they started leaning more towards CDH, getting a little bit higher. Uh, everybody started, you know, expanding their decks, how much that more they played. Like we started just trying to change overall. Uh, so I started building uh, this cheap deck, uh, Vajr Astral Archmage, uh, because it was more of the cheaper decks and I was able to afford it. And it just honestly seemed fun. It was just, is it Storm? And nobody knew what it was because they were like, okay, this is just a random commander from who knows where uh and then after people started catching on more uh i decided to build kinnon uh started to play that more and more uh and then yeah uh going from that to then going to my first tournament being like all right i'm down to go let's do it and it, here i am now and it worked out so it was super fun that's wild. So this was your first CDH tournament ever. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. That's wild. To win your first one is huge. And you weren't even going to go. That's wild. So yeah. for, for those who don't know, the cookout was 160 competitors. People flew in from all over the country and there was a $4,000 prize pool. So this this was a big event, lots of really stiff competition. Um, I played in this event as well and did not make it as far as you did. So uh, a lot of respect for your win. Uh, that was huge, congratulations. What are you gonna be doing with your earnings? With my earnings, honestly, uh, I'm trying to move uh, from where I live right now in Florida uh, to Maryland and uh, going and not even expecting to be able to get this money in the first place and then getting it. Now it's also honestly helping me just move and make that transition. And honestly, I'm all about it. That's awesome to be able to enter a CEDH tournament and win money that actually helps you in your real life. Like this is a hobby that's actually, you know, making you money. That's so cool. I love that. So I just want to quickly talk about the deck. Why did you choose Kinnon for this event? So this is uh, honestly, Kinnon is uh, my favorite deck uh, so far uh, out of all the ones that I've even seen play or uh, just even got to be able to pilot myself. Um, but it, as a joke at my local game store, uh, they, a lot of people would say that uh, Kinnon is better in the 99 than the command zone. <laughs> and as a thing, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go and show you that it's actually a lot better. So uh, getting to go and play and win as a Kinnon pilot, it's honestly just been like, wild because now i got all my buddies that said that it's better than 99 going and saying oh yeah never mind i i agree he's actually pretty good <laughs> you absolutely proved them wrong um but yeah i can definitely attest to Kinnon is the secret commander in darga thrasios that i see that Ooh. card basically every game i love it so who inspired you with your build of this deck and did anyone help you with this deck yeah so uh a lot of my inspiration uh came from uh, just watching like game after game of uh, Tyler from Play to Win, uh, seeing how Kinnon is such just like a pivotal uh, commander where you can go from either winning fast or just pitting these like big boys out on the battlefield that just say no or make it a lot harder on other players to basically do things that they want to do. Uh, that 
honestly just was like a big like green flag to me i was like "Ooh, i like that i like that my creatures can't be countered when they come to the battlefield if i activate him Ooh, now it is a <laughs> chance but it's it's still a chance and when they hit the battlefield you're like "Ooh, that's good uh but uh this list is shared uh between me and my good buddy john uh he uh did also help me uh put together the deck overall uh he has his own list had made his own deck even played it out because he enjoyed uh watching me play it and wanted to build himself and i was like all right dude yeah i'll help you build it too and so he got uh into it and started building it and after he had put it together and everything um i had uh ended up coming out of playing magic uh unironically and then i was like all right here you can have my deck uh and he ended up getting it for me uh and then combining the two lists and uh just from there now that's what the list i played right on two heads is better than one so i love that i do have to ask though why no command tower or Ottawara? oh this is i didn't know i uh the night before we had left uh i was going through his list and we basically were just throwing it together throwing in more interaction not really too worried about finding that uh like spot for it at the same time but we also didn't think about it we were too worried about trying to find a spot for thorn mammoth and spell sky which then we ended up not even going with uh which is, is really funny because we just kept going back and forth and back and forth about different things to cut or different things to run just for these two creatures that we just didn't even run and uh yeah it just ended up slipping out of my mind i didn't even think about it i love that you can take down this huge tournament without a couple of huge staples in the format like no command tower or Ottawara. like that's wild so that's that's super cool it really speaks to your skills as a pilot i think that's awesome do you think Kinnon is a strong meta choice. Did it line up well against all your matchups? Going into the cookout, the only deck I was really scared of was Tivit for some reason. But honestly, other than that, being able to pivot depending on the pod and having the option to run a small stacks hand or like Manglehorn. Oh, turn one Manglehorn. <laughs> Ooh, so Brutal. good. So good. Uh, or even just a slow hand that just rolls depending on the situation because then you don't grow as much attention on yourself as the other like blue farm player or so and then all the interaction gets blown on them and then the guy that just was sitting there not doing anything all of a sudden you dump your hand out and you go all right cool i have win uh i'm gonna start my loop uh bouncing all your permanents and then go to combat cool so honestly i personally thought that it was a good choice i personally think that kinnon is a really good commander and especially like where the format sits right now he sits at a pretty high like point even as well uh and i honestly really didn't want to play something like just really boring like i feel like blue farms just kind of i'm gonna play the same thing over and over and over again compared to like kinnon it's like each game is completely different I personally think it sits pretty high, uh, at least in where we're currently at with the meta, uh, especially playing around like uh, Orcish Bowmaster, because a lot of cards in Kinnon, like it's not a lot say draw. We're mainly going off of flips or depending on if you're even playing fast Kinnon, like you're not crazy worried about draw, you're mainly worried about uh, interaction. And so honestly, how I think where Kinnon sits is pretty good. Totally. I was just talking with Pingmeister Pong about Orcish Bowmasters, and I've noticed that in in my games, I've even wheeled into a Bowmaster on purpose um, in Dargo Thrasios because I'm a non-black deck, just like Kinnon. Mm -hmm. And if you aren't super uh, set on keeping your board, like maybe you just have a Kinnon and maybe one Mana Dork, but you have a bunch of Artifact Ran, that could be okay for you, right? Like they wipe your board, but they're gonna they're gonna deal the rest of the damage to the Adnaz player in the pod, and that's yeah. probably where the damage is going, unless you're way ahead. Uh, the the Orc army, I mean. So um, definitely think that uh, Orcish Bowmasters was overhyped on killing these creature based strategies. Um, I think you could definitely play through it. So, yep, good points. Um, I want to ask you, um, I know this is your first tournament, but obviously you did really well. Um, and maybe this is actually even a, you're the perfect person to ask because this was your first tournament. 
Do you have any tips on someone that's going into a tournament for the first time for one of these in-person tournaments? Like what should they expect and how can they um, prepare to win? Honestly, uh, going into the tournament, it's very nerve wracking. Um, but uh, just remembering like at the end of the day, we're all just going there to play some games. Like um, even though it's definitely a more competitive setting, uh, you may lose games, uh, you may not win games. Uh, and that's okay. Just as long as you enjoy it and have fun. And then at the end of the day, it just makes those wins that you get like feel so much better. Like it, it's undescribable, honestly. Um, but preparing for it even, uh, just go into it, having a good mindset and definitely play some games before with your deck, get familiar with what you're playing. Uh, see if there's any cuts. Talk to people, definitely. Uh, I know there's a bunch of Discord servers even uh, for a lot of these top tier uh, commanders that you can join and just hopping in there, setting your deck list even, having people just, you know, go over it, say, hey, why are you going, why are you using this instead of this? Or, you know, why are you not running Odawara? Or why do you not have a command tower? Uh, just in general, it's good to have other people's like outsider's perspective on it. Uh, it's just in the end, it helps out. So if you're looking to more uh, winning aspect, uh, just definitely going over, playing some games, getting familiar with what you're playing, know your lines, know your outlets, remember to shuffle your cards to the bottom of your library in a random order. I had that issue. Uh, <laughs> and other than that, yeah, that's, you should be good. Right on, yep, all good advice. Can you tell us about a favorite game you played at the cookout? Was there anything that really stood out? Uh, I was able to get a turn one win, uh, and it was my first seven even. It was uh, Mana Crypt, uh, Elvish Spirit Guide, Simic Signet, Mirage Mirror, Basalt Monolith, and um, uh, Breeding Pool, and then it is Spell. Uh, so went uh, Breeding Pool into exiling El uh, Elvish Spirit Guide for my hand for a green, Playing Kinnon, playing Mana Crypt, playing Basalt Monolith, playing Mirage Mirror, copying the land, putting multiple stack triggers to where it untaps and it becomes the land and then tapping it for green or blue. So I have colored mana as well. And then just being able to play all my creatures out of my deck through Kinnon activations and then just win there by going and finaling for a ton. That is beautiful. That's wild. That's a god hand from Kinnon. Yeah. Uh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm jealous. Have you <laughs> Every uh, Kinnon player, I would say, imagines to have that hand or even hopes because even talking to some Kinnon players, uh, they're like, how lucky even. And I was just like, yeah, very. Especially it being the first seven. Like, oof, wild. Sometimes you just have it all. I love it. So did you enjoy the event like outside of the actual tournament games? Can you like talk about like what the atmosphere was there and the lobby con and meeting everybody? Um, do you want to talk about that for a second? Oh, uh, yeah, honestly, uh, I met uh, a bunch of really cool people uh, coming there uh, Friday night, uh, getting in there and just even being able to play and just run some games with a couple people. Uh, I'm, I was able to make some friends even the first night playing there. Uh, they were just super cool and even after uh, like day one getting in uh, being able to hang out with them and just go and get food and just hang out it was pretty cool uh, but I really did enjoy the event uh, everyone pretty cool honestly even the host super dope people uh, and just being able to play in it and experience it for myself it, it was awesome honestly I could not have uh, pictured it like any better truthfully that's amazing. And I think you said that you got every single opponent to sign your playmat. Can you show us? Yeah. So after every game, uh, before the game would start, I would ask everybody to sign my mat. So I had uh, a lot of people sign my mat after and even some uh, all the judges and some other people as well. Uh, but for the most part, it was pretty cool. So. That's beautiful. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Sweet. And what a cool mat. The cookout mat was uh, oh. just uh, so good. What a great event. Are you going to be playing in any more tournaments now that you've won this one? Uh, yeah, uh, I've 
been asked already by a couple of uh, the more higher up, uh, like Kenyan players even, um, uh, Satellite especially. Uh, he was trying to get me to join in like uh, Chaos tournaments. Uh, but that and then uh, there is one at the end of this month, I believe in Scranton, PA, uh, I was going to try to attend to. Uh, and other than that one, uh, I was more than likely going to go to the one in October. I'm really trying to honestly go to these things more. Uh, it was really enjoyable. Awesome. Yep. I'll definitely be at the October Mox Masters Invitational if that's the one you're talking about. Yeah. Sweet. Where can people find you online? Uh, you can find me on most uh, social medias, but Twitch, YouTube, and Instagram uh, as Space Jumpsuit. That's where you can find me. Fantastic. I'll leave a link to all those in the description. Well, Tony, thank you so much for joining us and congratulations again for taking down the 2023 cookout. That was an awesome run, even with that turn one win, just so amazing. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.